Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the LSU Tigers and the Syracuse Orange. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I'll tell you what, you get shock city, especially when they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. The Orange should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First of all, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Second of all, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Both teams looking to get things going here. The small forward handles the pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He launches the bomb, 10 on the shot clock. Are you kidding me? Show me how he did that. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Almost lost the basketball. And in and out. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. The center receives the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Number three receives the pass. Jumps into the defender. Number 23 is feeling great out there right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Inside, the power forward handles the feed. There they come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of play. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Fast break opportunity here. There's a slam. Now that's what I call showtime. You better believe it, baby. Trying to pack it inside. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Tickles a twine. fake his shot blocked from behind he set him up nicely I don't know if you saw him Brad but the mask got fired up after the last dunk I think he wants to play man he's all fired up put him in coach put him in get him some T.O. baby get him some time give him a chance baby and the ball goes out of play Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. The Tigers go to the line for the first time in this game. It's the first shot. Takes those free throws, come on. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Fed the low block. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. 
The skip pass is picked off. He'll regroup the offense. On the outside. Jumped in front to take it away. For two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. He shoots from the top of the key. He makes the shot. On the outside. Inside. He makes the block. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Shows patience waiting for the reset. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. Look at that spacing. Up and inside. Now they work it around the perimeter. He rejects it. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. They work it around the perimeter. They get the turnover. There's a steal. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. They work the perimeter. Tries to get the D to bite. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Pump fakes. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the board initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. There's a high screen. Goes up for two. And momentary look from three-point land on the dribble gives it up offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose he blocks the shot the ball goes out of bounds Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. 
Perfectly executed. He up fakes. Fakes the shot. And now they'll bring it up. We're going to move it around the perimeter. From right at the circle. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Number 23 picks up the foul. First personal foul. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. Up and inside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Now they work it around the perimeter. High post flashes for the opportunity. Fires away. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. LSU are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Perfectly executed. I need to see that again, Brad. Looking around the perimeter. He puts up the three ball. Goes in. The outside gave it up. Double team now, bad angle from three point land off the rim and no good. On the outside, defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Gets it to go. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Has a nice look at the basket. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Puts it up, looking for contact. Gets it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Got the high pick. He's money with a shot. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Good job defensively. They run it up into transition. Number 30 makes a great move to draw the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot, no good. to go. Oh. 
Oh, my, he ran into a major league screen that time. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, it's still close, and it's very early, but there needs to be some sense of urgency on the favorite's bench tonight so this one doesn't get out of hand, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Goes up for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Trying to draw some contact. He shoots from left of the circle. He misses from downtown. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Gave it up for two. Can't get the shot to go. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. The fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the inside. One shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. And the ball goes out of bounds. Takes the shot from the baseline. He drains it. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. He drains the bucket. How about an instant replay? Terry look from three-point land. The ball goes out of play. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. the dribble gives it up there's the trap ball was loose but the offense got it back oh and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul oh that's a bad bad foul right there brad there's a double team waiting there and he missed Drops the bucket despite the harm. A 
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. He gets the rejection. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He makes a nice shot fake. He goes with a jump hook and off the mark. Syracuse are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. And a slam. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. He got fouled in the air, and he still put it down. Hey, that was some serious air mail, Brad. Nick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. He goes to the line for the first time. Nothing but nylon, NBN. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. And makes it. Time to pick up the defense here now. He buries it. That's basic. Number 14 with the fake. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Got some room. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Got the shot if he wants it. Blocks the shot. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that mascot looks like a lost puppy dog, Nick. I tell you, the mascot's so sad, it reflects their play. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Picked off. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Shot clock is dead. Number double zero draws the personal. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He'll attempt two shots. Makes the first. Second shot, no good.
There's the fake. He shoots from the angle. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. The ball goes out of bounds. That suit's got to be feeling pretty hot about now. Things are not going well. Wow, look at the dejection, the disappointment, the depression, the three Ds. At halftime, the Tigers are up by 12. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Number 30 is having, I guess, an average game. He didn't have a great first half, but as a star player, he knows how to step it up and get them back into this one. Look for him to flip the switch on in the second half and try to make things happen. This is how upsets happen. The underdog starts to play well, the crowd begins to cheer them on, and the next thing you know, the team that's not supposed to win gets the W. You know, Bradley, that's exactly how it happens. Looking for the foul, you betcha. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Great recovery after the rebound. That's how you stop the fast break. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Tries for two. They still don't score. Good fake. And now the fadeaway jumper. You talk about versatility. There aren't many guys that are going to make that fadeaway jump shot. Great touch. Impossible to block that shot. and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Number 21 is called for the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student section looks like they're having a great time. He shoots from the top of the circle. Number 23, drains the three-pointer. shot block and the ball goes out of bounds you start comparing these backcourts dick what are your impressions so far you know well for me brad good guard play will take you a long ways if you think about teams in the past they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure attack off the dribble and distribute the ball i can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is up for two. Syracuse is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. He's got to get rid of it. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Now they work it around the perimeter. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Defense taking away any open looks. Way off target. A 
On the outside. On the inside. Trying to draw the foul. Working it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He intercepts it. Pushes it up. Full court pass. For two, that's good. Two perfectly executed. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots from the top of the key. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. Entry pass in the paint. For the bucket, sinks it. There they come with a double team to stop it. He's going nowhere. Going Ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. He nails the shot. On the outside. He shoots from right of the circle. The Tigers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He shoots. The Orange have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. Ten on the shot clock. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That's a great shot. And I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Steals a pass. Looking for a good shot. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. It's stolen. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent to block something. Yeah, that helps. Now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. Looking to 
move it around the perimeter on the outside. Wide open for the shot. For three, goes. Cross court. Steals the pass. Here they go into the break. Number two. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, Mr. Nestler, that's a no no. He steps up to the line, sinks it. The orange trail by nine. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 50. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. And we'll go to the free throw line. Defensively, they just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. And he can't hit the shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Syracuse have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Picks off the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. Come up with a steal, and they do. They push it up on the break. For two, easy one. That's a seven nothing run. Looking for a good shot. He tries to knock down the three. He buries the shot. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries for two. Got it. The Tigers are up by seven. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. For the bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. In the paint, leans in, makes it. Double team now, bad angle. Goes up for two. LSU have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two. And he missed. Tries for two. Up. Easy one. Out of play. 
We expect this one to be going the other way, Dick, and it's been the opposite of what everybody anticipated. The strong team still trailing here in the second half. I don't know if they're ever going to get in front. How many times have we always talked about special situations like in football? You better make sure you do the little things. Making free throws is vital. It's the difference so many times getting to the winner's locker room or the loser's locker room. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. Fakes a jumper. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. Isn't it great, Brad? Number 23 steals the ball. Looking for contact. It sticks. Hit the replay button on that one. Dribble gives it up. He shoots from downtown. He nails the bucket. Showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Steals the ball. Great job of rotating back. Now they got numbers. Tries for two. It's stolen. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. That's seven on answer. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. At this point in the game, clock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Takes it off him. Looking for a good shot. The small forward handles the pass. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Goes up for two. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hogged the microphone. <laughs> hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> for the deuce, the layup is good. <laughs> Takes away the pass. For the bucket. And in and out. He gets it to go. On the outside, the point guard with the ball. From the top of the key, off the rim and no good. Lays it in. Number one is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Dick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Go, 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 go. 
Dig, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Top of the circle. Yes! They'll work it around the arc. Fakes it. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Robs him of the ball. In the paint. Number up and in. A little showtime. It's going to be a three point play. Got the foul. The bench loves it. With the freebie. Everything looked good, but the result. Pushes it. He intercepts it. Shoots it. He hits the shot. Picked off. From the top of the key. That was nice. Takes it away. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They really got the defense on their heel. They're almost helpless right now out there. Takes the three-pointer. Rims out. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. There's a double team waiting there. Strips the ball. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. They get out on the break. He hits it. Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. He attempts the trifecta. Makes it. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. With the shot. Off the rim and no good. off the pass. The point guard takes the feed. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. On the outside. And the ball goes out of play. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. It's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? Right, Brad. They have the foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. And yet another foul. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. 
And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Foul, and that stops the clock again. And the clock stopped with a foul. A chance for one and the bonus. Makes the foul shot. Sinks it. A Buccaneer is crucial. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Shot clock is dead. He unloads a three. They have to foul to put them on the line. I hope they miss. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Second shot is good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. He tries the three, goes in. And yet another foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when to foul is an important point of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. He can't get one to fall. to the action here after the timeout. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect them to quiet down, did you, Dick? Controlling the ball. This thing's going back to the drawing board, Dick. This wasn't supposed to happen. We didn't expect that they were going to lose this ball game, and I'm sure their fans and their coaching staff didn't expect it either. Well, I think what happened, Brad, they really weren't focused, and right now there's a win the reality. I think they're trying to get a little cocky, maybe reading their press clippings, but now maybe they'll say to themselves, you know what? We better come to play, and we better be ready. And I think that starts with practice. Syracuse find themselves on the losing end of a good game. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.